fight number 13 of the evening about to get underway here. Fight out of the red corner, a local boy, Richard Williams, against Artim Abraham. Both of these guys, this is uh, their third fight, I believe. Uh, Abraham's had two fights, two wins, one KO, Richard Williams. I'm not sure on the results, I just know this is his third fight. Both of these guys flying out of the gate, starting off. This is three two-minute rounds that's being contested at 82 kilos, so some of the bigger guys here tonight throwing big, heavy shots. Oh, nice duck under there from uh, Williams. Avoiding what looked to be a big shot. Wants to be careful trying to catch those kicks, so, I mean, he literally, his arm was all over the place. Big swinging right there from Abraham. Narrowly missing the mark. Williams doing a great job ducking under those punches again, but into the danger zone that is the knees, potentially, of Abraham. Crowd really getting behind Williams here. Local boy fighting out of beatbox gym. Williams putting a little combination of punches together as he's working his way backwards. But I can't help his people. Oh, big right cross there. Dangerous looking punch. Williams really wanted to keep his hands up here. Hands are too low. His hands are too low. It only takes out this weight. One big shot, I'll end the fight. Williams looking like he's feeling fatigued already. I mean, we're only halfway through the first round. Williams, Williams looked like he was going to shoot for a double leg there. Remembering that this is a K1 bout. A knee to the face, a knee to the face when Williams was down. Referee may give Williams some time to recover from that. Yeah, Williams doesn't, I don't know if Williams is quite right after that. And that's the end of the first round. Round two, just getting underway there. Our oh, Richard Williams on the back foot straight away. Eating some heavy leather from his opponent. Abraham here, wasting no time at all, getting stuck in. Williams really wants to work on keeping his hands up. His guard's all over the place. Those shots from Abraham are getting through without too much difficulty. Williams landing a nice left hook of his own. Williams ducking and diving, but I still can't help but feel he's ducking and diving into the danger areas. That close quarters in a K1 fight, he can eat a knee without too much difficulty at all. That hand real low and he eats another punch. How many punches is he going to take before he realises that that left hand needs to stay high? Our oh, team Abraham here. Coming out flying with all those punches again. I don't know how much is in the gas tank to be able to maintain that pace for particularly long. Again, Williams, his guard's all over the place. He's wide open for shots here. He's throwing that punch. He's throwing that sort of low right kick, sorry. But look, he's just eating those shots up. That left hand, I don't know what's wrong with his left hand. He really needs to keep it up. And he goes back to the gym after this fight and he's training, he wants to strap that left hand to his head. <laughs> Referee separating these two K1 rules. Once you clinch up, there's one technique and then you have to release and get back to it. And that right cross from Abraham looking dangerous. Whoa! Abraham throwing a kick, almost hitting the referee in the head. I'm surprised he doesn't get a point deducted for that. This referee looks like he's made a tough stuff though. Okay, has been in the case in every single round so far. These guys come out throwing everything they've got in the first 30 seconds. This is when both of these guys seem particularly dangerous. Williams looking like he's doing a slightly better job of keeping his hands up this time. Maybe the corner team have had a word with him. Maybe he's just tasted leather one too many times. But as soon as he gets tired, he drops those hands. Not just slightly, but past his hips. Abraham's still dangerous. 
Looking like he's setting up the distance with those jabs. Williams looking really fatigued here. And I say, these guys come out really explosive. There's been no pace setting. You know, these guys have come out sprinting when at the end of the day, they're actually involved in more of a marathon. Williams looks like he's got next to nothing left. His hands are low, he's breathing heavy. He's trying, he's literally searching for anything he's got. Just pure grit, determination, left. Oh, and he eats a heavy right, lifts his hands up. He looks like he's in trouble, he's in trouble. He is in trouble, the ref might give him a count. He looks like he's in serious trouble. Abraham, has he got enough in him to stop this fight? Abraham looks like he sends his blood, but he's also taking really big, deep, heavy breaths himself. Neither one of these guys look like they have enough power left to finish it. Williams not looking like he wants it. He's turning away in a tie boxing match, turning away would cost him. Williams looks like he's just operating on, on fumes, just pure grit and tenacity. Referee looks like he'd be close to giving him a count at this rate. Dying seconds of this fight. Williams just literally clutching to straws, holding in there. Win, lose or draw, both these guys gave everything they had. Williams looks exhausted. Referee pulling him back up to his feet. And after those three rounds of action, your judges have reached a unanimous decision. All in favour of your winner, fighting out of the...